Splines can have a major impact on your system resources. Because splines are composed of tiny line segments, they require an incredible number of calculations. This can slow down the performance of AutoCAD as well as your workstation. If you're noticing your system slowing down, you can convert your splines to polylines and regain the lost performance. It can be pretty tedious to convert a drawing like this with multiple splines in it to polylines. One way to get around that is to use the pedit command, that is the polyline edit. Just type PE, right click to select multiple, and window around or use a crossing to select all the polylines. You are then prompted if you want to convert the elements to polylines. Press enter to accept. Set a position of one to retain any arcs. Now if I hover over the elements, AutoCAD identifies them as polylines. What if I decide that I really wanted them to be splines? I could convert them back by using the undo command, but what if I decide to do a few commands in between that I don't want to lose? For example, what if I wanted to offset this red polyline? I select the offset tool and then right click and select the through option. The through option allows me to left click to locate the new polyline. I could have entered in a distance or used an object snap to place the offset at line. The through option gives me, well, options. Now I want to convert that new polyline to a spline. I select the polyline, right click, and select polyline spline. I press enter. Now when I hover, it displays as a 2D polyline, but there are more grips available for editing. If you want your spline to retain more curves when you convert it into a polyline, use the SPE command along with a high value of 10 or more. You can enter in any value from 1 to 99. The higher the number, the more points are placed and the closer to the spline it will appear. I'll draw another spline using the fit method. The spline is placed. If I select the spline and hover over one of the grips, you see that I have some multi-grip functions available, including the ability to add a fit point or stretch an existing fit point to reshape my spline. I type SPE. I select the spline, I type 10 for the position, and the spline converts to a polyline. One of the tasks some users want to do with their topo maps is to change the elevations of the polylines. This can be helpful if you need to extract the polyline information or just want to have that information available under properties. This is another advantage of using polylines over splines. To do this, I will select one of the polylines in my drawing, right-click and select Properties. Notice one of the fields is for elevation. I'll change the elevation value to 10. I then close the Properties dialog. I press Escape to release my selection. You don't really notice the elevation change unless you switch to a 3D view. So I'm going to use the View Cube to switch to a 3D view. That way you can see the elevation change. I'm orbiting around a little using my mouse so you can see the elevation difference here. To return to a plan view, I type plan and select the world option to use the WCS. Splines are excellent if you want to create smooth curves. You have a lot of options available to help you modify splines including using the grips and the multi-grip function. You can create splines using fit points or control vertices. And you can switch between the two different controls regardless of how the spline was created.